recording. Alright, so we are going to be playing Metroid Prime next. This is Metroid Prime 1, the trilogy version, so this is the Wii version of the game. And yeah, I really love this game. I've only ever played it through once, and it's been a hot minute, so... This will be like half blind, I would say, because honestly, I don't really remember all that much. So, also, yeah, I think everything looks good. So, this is live streamed again for you people watching on YouTube. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I could not get the webcam to work because I'm having major issues with my Elgato. The Elgato does not, it's not a very stream friendly capture card. It's an excellent capture card for recording. And it's very simple to use, but for live streaming, it is honestly a hot mess. So this is my file I was using while trying to get this recording good, so. So yeah, long story short, the Elgato has a major game audio delay when you stream. And as far as I know, OBS does not let you uh, delay the actual video. You can only delay the game audio, which then would delay my webcam video. So I'm already delaying my microphone audio to match the game audio, but then I can't delay the webcam video. So my webcam would be out of sync by like a second. And I can't imagine that it's worth having a webcam up if it's like behind by a second. So if I can somehow figure that out, I'll turn it back on. It seemed to work for the Wind Waker streams. Maybe it was delayed then too, but honestly, I didn't notice it that much. Uh, so, I don't know. We're just going to have to deal with no webcam for now. This is like complete YouTube-style Let's Play going on right now. So, let's just start up Metroid Prime. The first one, as I said, we will be playing on Veteran Difficulty. As far as I am concerned, Veteran Difficulty is equivalent to the GameCube Normal Difficulty. I am like 80% sure that they scaled down the difficulty a level in the trilogy version. No idea why. So this is the Wii version hard mode, but the GameCube normal mode. I could be wrong about that though. And in the back of my head I will be hoping and praying that my game audio is synced to my game. But I will shut up during this cutscene because it is amazing. The sounds in this game are amazing. The visuals are amazing. So enjoy. Here we are. Such an awesome cutscene. Such an awesome game. Uh, Metroid Prime is a very strange game in the fact that it gets a lot of love from people. And it should because it's an incredible game. And I'm hoping I can show that off. But not a whole lot of people have played it. 
but it acts like a lot of people like it it acts like a lot of people have a lot of people treat it like it's this very well-known game but it's really not it's very strange also I'm forgetting all the controls already so I have only played the first Metroid Prime two and three will be blind but like I said, this is kind of like semi-blind because it's been so long. I should probably just put that in the title, like semi-blind. Uh, oh, we missed some. <laughs> I also kind of want to switch my firing to B and jump to A. You can do that in the settings, but I don't think you can access the settings in the game, which kind of sucks. So yeah, 100% uh, is considered like... Getting all the energy tanks, all the missile upgrades, stuff like that, standard Metroid stuff. But in this game, it also counts as scanning every single little thing, I believe, of importance. And I'm not going to be doing that because that just seems very tedious and I'm not too worried about 100%ing this game. I don't even know how to do it. If I end up really enjoying this, maybe I'll try to find the energy tanks and the missile upgrades and stuff. But no promises. I will do my best, though. I think it's worth it. But, um, I am kind of OCD as it is, so I'll probably be scanning a lot of stuff anyways. And I'll leave the text up for a little bit, but if I'm going too fast, just feel free to pause the video and read it. But you can't pause the stream and read it. Not easily, anyways. But the scanning is really cool. It gives really in-depth details of the enemies and the area and your surroundings. So it's pretty interesting to read. So these guys will end up swarming you a lot in the game, there's only one here. And then you can kind of read about these space pirates. I believe these are the space pirates. Yep. Death caused by severing of the spinal cord. And then we have this right here. Incredibly large muscle structures surrounding the jaw area. Fluid sacs containing acid are also detected. Pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. Just kind of taking in the room here. Just the ambience in this game and everything is just amazingly well done. Death caused by acidic burns to body. Chemical type unknown. A mouth like orifice. Oh, he's still alive. There we go. So locking on is really nice, but it's... Uh, a little strange. Uh, you can't move the camera up, down, left, or right. You can only aim while locking on, which is very nice. I don't exactly know how the GameCube controls differ, besides obviously using analog. I've never played the GameCube version, so I would imagine the Wii controls are, like, the way to go. Also, I'm going to have to remember to stop my recordings and start new ones so that I don't have to render them in uh, my editing software. So running into that space right there downloads the map to the area, which is so incredibly nice in this game because this game is kind of like a labyrinth. Almost like, you know, any other Metroidvania game in existence. Very well constructed map, but a lot of times you'll get lost and you'll definitely be seeing me get lost. That's for sure. Access to deck beta approved. And we can scan this. Platform active. Good. I did not mean to press C there. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of feel more comfortable doing this without a webcam, honestly. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the webcam yet. I mean, if it was working properly, I would probably just end up using it because I feel like it adds a little bit more personality to the stream or whatever. So 
So I'll try to keep working on it, get it figured out, but honestly, I'm not really hopeful. I'm using the webcam installed on my laptop. So that might have something to do with it. So if I were to get like a more proper webcam or whatever, maybe I could change some settings. Yeah, if you uh, hold your charge beam, you can suck in your health stuff, which is really helpful. So I'll probably... let's play this game. Uh, hang on. Parasite, Egg, and Poopa... Poopa stage. Pupa. Tough exoskeleton protects it from mother's acidic embryonic fluid. That's interesting. The fluid sacs are in the mouth and large after mutation. This allows for increased production of corrosive bite. These things sound nasty. After mutation, the carapace of the lava becomes rigid. Carapace is quite resilient, able to resist attacks of many, uh, many predators. Combat mutation applications are complete. The primary legs of this creature possess uh, galvanized tips, allowing it to penetrate any known alloy. So, obviously, Samus' suit is a part of that. So, as I was saying, I'll probably be playing Let's Playing this game, and probably another game I have an idea of what I want to do next. But I am not uh, set on that idea yet, so I'm still kind of thinking about it. But I'm sure we'll find out probably in the next week or so. I feel like live streaming allows me to, like, let's play two games at once, because I don't need to edit this crap anymore. Or render it, I can just upload it as it is, so. Albeit at a maybe a slightly less quality, but it's still pretty good. Also, nice voice crack. So pretty much what's happening here is, I'm pretty sure this was a space pirate ship. And they're pretty much experiencing with this thing called Phazon. New parasite, or <laughs> parasite data, pirate data. Space pirate encrypted data decoded. Zebs has fallen, all ground personnel are presumed dead, either killed by the hunter clad in metal, or in the subsequent destruction of the underground facilities. Our research forgets Orpheon. Seracus and Volparagom were in orbit at zero hour and managed to retreat. Forget Orpheon has now docked at Vortex Outpost. Orpheon's cargo appears to have 100% survival rate. Metroids are healthy, but on restricted feeding schedules due to uncertain supply status. We are ready to begin research on the Metroids and other promising life forms. Security status remains at code blue. No signs of pursuit from the hunter. Hunter being Samus. Phase on infusion stage one. Whatever they're experimenting on, I'm assuming the parasite in the tube seems to be remaining stable. It's gonna be a lot of reading in this game. But it's really interesting stuff, honestly. Specimens exhibit incredible strength and body mass increase when exposed to phase on. It's like steroids, pretty much, is what Phazon is. Okay. Need The red squares mean we need to scan it to progress. I'm not worried about scanning everything, sue me. It's probably annoying to watch a Let's Play where all the guy does is scan. Who knows. So I'll kind of show off this health-sucking thing I was talking about. He didn't drop any, so I can't, but... That being said, I don't know if veteran difficulty just makes you take more damage, or if you, like, enemies have more health, less health drops, I don't know. But the health just gets sucked right into us, which is nice. War Wasp. We'll be seeing a lot of War Wasp later, trust me. Ice Shrink Bat, we'll be seeing them too. Not until much later, though. And an empty holding cell. You are alive. Acid Burns have welded the joints of the Exoskeleton. Ew. 
That would suck. These turrets are really annoying. Also, I forgot that I can fire missiles. Very helpful. Death caused by severe lacerations to the abdomen. Yeah, I really gotta switch my A and B button because I keep pressing B to shoot. I feel like that should be the default, but it's not. Door lock enabled. Whoa, hello, hello. There I go pressing B again. Oh yeah, you can strafe. Forgot about that too. Get me out of here. There we go. Did I scan the turret yet? I think I... No, I didn't. It's a creature. <laughs> Auto defense turret uses missiles to break outer casing. Or use missiles to break outer casing. We took a whopping one damage. More door locks. I guess we can read why. I mean, probably just severe lacerations from the turrets, right? Looks like I struggled to get through the door. Okay. Death caused by cranial trauma. How about you? Death caused by acid burns to the face. <laughs> Poor guy. This is your safe station. These fully restore your health as well. So, very nice. But let's keep going a little bit here. I could stop the first video here, but I feel like we haven't really done much, so let's just keep going. What? Sorry about the little interruption there. My mom's making food. Oh, cutscene. go first boss fight parasite queen a lot of you probably recognize this thing from super smash bros i didn't know what parasite queen was until super smash bros because i never played this game until i don't know maybe like four or five years ago But this fight pretty much just gets you used to strafing, locking on, you know, typical typical first boss fight tutorial stuff, I guess. Didn't even shoot any missiles because I keep forgetting I have missiles. Now we have to evacuate immediately. I also forgot to scan the Parasite Queen. Nice going, dude. So now it's e it's pr pretty much impossible to 100% this now unless I want to restart. So we're off to a great start. I'm pretty sure they give you more than enough time to get out of here too. So I'm not too worried about this right now.
scanning that must... I think it disabled the turret for me, unless it was just telling me that the turret was already disabled. Also, we have another thing breaking out here, so let's get out of here. Oh, wait, it died. The thing getting tested with the phase on. Hello, space pirate. I'm a little too close to you. It feels so good to be playing this, though. This game controls so good. Oh god. I forget what these things are called already, but there's so many. I'm not too worried about it. Just go. They're not even hurting me. They did one damage. They do drop a ton of health, though. We have to use a missile on this. Or wait, what? Yeah, there we go. It took like a weird delay for that thing to break up. These turrets aren't disabled though. That actually kind of scared me. Uh, wait. Oh, no. We gotta go this way. Here we go. wonder if it's faster to use your ball. Probably not. Could it be? Mecha Ridley that they for some reason put in Smash Bros which I still think is the du I, f I got so mad when people were complaining like where's Ridley in Smash like it really doesn't make any sense why he's in Smash Bros I'll be honest with you guys so freaking sweet grappling hook action there this game has it all it really does disable some more turrets not that they're any real threat right now, but... Did I just get hit by something? Also, somehow that makes us super less awesome. I'm not exactly sure what happened there, but... A suit malfunction... ...by an explosion? It's not clear. So we pretty much lose all of our powers, like in any typical Metroidvania beginning of the game type deal, you know. Hello, door. Do we still have missiles? Nope, we don't even have missiles right now. That's rough. Looks like Ridley and I are going to the same place, or at least the same planet.
To recognize an enemy target has been lost, ground based recon required. Begin landing sequence. Here we are in the Talon Overworld. Yes, I would love to save. Game has been saved. I got a burp. Ugh, excuse me. Excuse me. It's probably gross. Don't really care. Hunter class gunship registered to Samus Aaron. You can return to your ship to recharge energy, reload weapons, and save progress. Jeez, what is going on with my body right now? Alright, so I'm going to stop the first recording here. So I hope that was an interesting first episode. I know first episodes are always the most awkward ones to do. But I should be used to this stuff by now. I don't know. I feel like I'm more chill when I'm streaming. But when I record, I feel like I have to be, like... I feel like I have to be entertaining every second. But when I live stream, it's more just, like, chill. So maybe chill Luke is, uh... Is better than recording Luke. Who knows? But thank you guys for joining. I will be continuing the live stream, but I am stopping the recording here. And I will see you YouTube people in the next video you click on.